in today's episode, we delve into the rise of a predator unlike any other we've seen on Eritronia. It is neither insect nor animal, but something far more insidious, a plant. As we discussed in the previous episode, the emergence of apex predator has intensified competition for survival. Much like the economic law of supply and demand, an increase in carnivores creates a greater need for prey. But when the prey population, such as the giant grasshopper and aphids, stagnates or declines, competition among predators escalates. Predators are forced to confront each other in increasingly fierce battles, known for their resilience have managed to enter in the face of these growing conflicts, even against some of the most powerful apex predators. But now, a new threat has appeared, one that is neither ordinary nor familiar. This time, their competition comes from carnivorous plants, living, breeding trap that turn the tables on the food chain. So, what do these plants look like, and how do the ants confront this new menace? Carnivorous plants thrive in the most extreme environments, areas where most plants cannot survive. On Artronia, one such region is the fungal marsh, a swampy, acidic habitat that supports an abundance of giant insects. Here, among the murky waters and towering fungal growth, a fearsome plant has taken root. The Titanophyta devouratrix, or the devourer plant. Titanophyta derives from Titan, symbolizing its colossal size, and Phyta meaning plant. The second half, devouratrix, comes from the Latin for devourer, highlighting its carnivorous nature. Altogether, it's the giant devouring plant, a name befitting a predator capable of capturing creatures as large as humans. Towering up to 6 meters in height, the devourer plant is an ordinary pitcher plant. Its massive central pitcher can reach an impressive 3 meters tall, with an opening wide enough up to 2 meters to engulf far more than just insects. The plant's main weapon it is deep cavity, a trap filled with digestive fluids. This natural pitfall is liquid waxy inner walls that make any attempt at escape impossible for those unfortunate enough to fall in. Prey that stumbles into the pitcher mouth finds itself sliding down its sides, where downward facing hairs push them further into the plant's acidic pool. The fluid, a mixture of water and powerful digestive enzymes, begin to break down its victims immediately, reducing even larger creatures to nutrients for the plant's survival. The Titanophyta isn't just an idle predator. Its cunning comes in how it lures prey. The pitcher's rim is lined with glands that secrete sweet nectar a tantalizing bait that tempts both the curious and the hungry. Small and larger insects alike are drawn in, unaware of the deadly trap waiting for them. Adding to its allure, the hooded structure above the picture is both colorful and translucent, capturing the attention of any nearby creature. The hood also serves a functional purpose shielding the trip from rainwater that might dilute the digestive fluid and acting as a lid when it snaps shut. Once inside, the plant's victims are doomed. They sink into the pitcher digestive pool, where enzymes work to break down their bodies. The liquid is thick, highly acidic and relentless, designed to break apart proteins fats, and other organic matter, 
Over time, the plant absorbs the vital nutrients from its prey, leaving behind little but dissolved remains. Anchored deep into the marsh's soil, the Titanophyta deforiatrix has a robust root system that helps sustain it in its harsh environment while it draws some nutrition from the earth. The majority of its energy comes from its carnivorous diet. The Titanophyta deforiatrix might be one of the most formidable carnivorous plants in Artronia, capable of luring in everything from the smallest avid to the largest giant grasshopper or springtail. Its fragrant nectar draws this insect irresistibly to the edge of its slippery trip, where one misstep can send them plunging into a pool of digestive enzymes. Inside the trap, waxy walls and fine hairs make any escape impossible, ensuring that even the mightiest insects are quickly broken down and absorbed by the plant. This efficiency makes the devourer plant one of the most successful predators in Artronia's fungal mars. But Titanophyta deforetric is not the only fearsome carnivorous plant on this planet. Another plant lurks in the towering forests of Artronia, equally terrifying and perhaps even more formidable. The Dionea gigantica, or giant Venus flytrap. The Dionea gigantica draws its name from the genus Dionea, known for the predatory Venus flytrap, while gigantica is Latin for giant, a fitting descriptor for a plant of such monstrous proportions. This plant is no ordinary flytrap. It towers above the forest floor, with its trap capable of capturing prey as large as human. The main trapping structure of this colossal flight trap can reach an astonishing 3 meter in diameter, large enough to ensnare human-sized creatures and even giant Artronian insects. Its fleshy lobe of the trap can stretch open up to 1.5 meter across, forming a white maw that eagerly awaits its next meal. The plant's roots cling to massive tree, positioning its trap several meters above ground, where it can prey upon both ground-dwelling creatures and those that inhabit the canopy. The trap itself is a marvel of natural engineering. It consists of two large fleshy lobes connected by a hinge along the center. Inside, the trap is lined with highly sensitive trigger hairs. When an unsuspecting creature presses against these hairs multiple times, the trap snaps shut with lightning speed. Its powerful interlocking cilia, sharp tooth-like structure along the edge of the lobes, prevent any chance of escape. The strength of this trap surpasses even that of the regular Venus flight trap, making it capable of holding down much larger prey, including the massive insect that roam Artronia's jungles. Once the trap has closed, the real horror begins. Inside the trap, powerful digestive enzymes are secreted from glands along the inner walls, quickly breaking down the soft tissues of the prey over the course of days or even weeks. Depending on the size of the victim, the plant absorbs essential nutrients from its catch. Meanwhile, the edge of the trap seals shut, creating a watertight chamber that fills with digestive fluids this acidic pool slowly liquefies the prey, allowing the plant to extract every ounce of nutrition from its meal. 
the giant Venus flytrap relies on a specialized root system to anchor itself securely to the trees of Arturia's towering forest. Its roots absorb moisture and nutrients from the air and decaying debris that gathers in the tree crevices, supplementing the nutrients it gains from its carnivorous diet with a thick muscular stem. The plant can support the massive weight of its trap while maintaining the flexibility to angle towards sunlight, ensuring optimal energy absorption for photosynthesis. The giant Venus flytrap snapshot with incredible speed and force, ensuring even the largest creatures cannot escape its deadly grasp. Powered by hydraulic pressure within the plant cells, an amplification of the mechanism found in smaller Venus fly traps. This clamping action traps its prey with ruthless efficiency. As with its small counterparts, the giant Venus fly trap lures its victim with a sweet scented nectar secreted from glands around the edges of its fleshy lobes. This nectar mimics the enticing fragrance of flower or fruits from its base. Long tendrils snake outward, securing the massive flight trap to its host tree. These tendrils serve a dual purpose, anchoring the plant securely and detecting the subtle movements of nearby creatures. Any disturbance around the plant send signals up through these tendrils, preparing the flight trap for its next meal. The giant Venus can capture creatures as large as the giant grasshopper, and it too draws in its prey with a fragrance nectar that lures creatures into the mouth of its deadly trap. Once a victim begins feeding on the nectar, their movements inevitably trigger the trap's sensitive hairs. With astonishing speed, the loops of the trap snap shut, locking the prey inside. Digestive enzymes are quickly secreted, breaking down the prey's body as it struggles within the trap, slowly dissolving it alive. This gruesome process allows the giant Venus to thrive as one of the apex predators in Artronius ecosystem. The rise of these two powerful carnivorous plants, the Titanophyta deforatrix and the Dionea gigantica, poses an escalating threat to Artronius and populations. Ants relying on nectar as a critical sugar source frequently find themselves drawn to this trap. In the fungal mars where the devour plant drives, ants often venture too close, lured by the sweet promise of nectar, only to meet their demise inside the plant's slippery pit. Likewise, in the towering trees inhabited by the giant Venus flight trap, the ants path to valuable resources like tree sap, flower nectar, and nesting materials is often blocked by these enormous carnivorous barriers. The flight trap itself, being an epiphyte, does not harm its host tree directly but its imposing presence can prevent ants from assessing crucial areas. The only hope for the ants lies in the feeding cycles of these predator plants. Neither the devourer plant nor the giant Venus flytrap will activate their traps when they are still digesting previous prey. The devourer plant takes up to two months to fully break down and absorbs a particularly large meal, while the giant Venus flytrap can finish digestion in as little as one to three weeks, depending on the size of its prey. During these inactive periods, ants have a narrow window in which they can cross these dangerous areas and skate. 
by the mid proto chaitonian period 20 million years preceding, the ends of Arturnia had begun to adapt to the increasing threats posed by predatory plants and other apex predators. The survival of their colonies depended on these adaptations as they faced not only rival and kingdoms and giant insects but also the lurking menace of plants that hunted them. Over time, the ants evolved strategies to avoid the deadly traps of these plants, honing their instincts and learning when it was safe to venture into territories dominated by carnivorous flora. However, the ants' struggles did not end there. As they fought to maintain their dominance in Arturnia's fiercely competitive ecosystem, a new and terrifying threat loomed on the horizon, a pathogen that could turn them into something far worse than prey. This pathogen will transform them into zombie-like creatures, setting the stage for a new era of survival and conflict in Arturnia.